First of all, he's a generous provider. I'm still using his Netflix account. <laughs> if I don't know where he is, he's usually in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> If he's out of the bathroom, he's looking for a bathroom. You can only guess, Mark spends half his life on the porcelain throne. If you're ever concerned about how much time he spends on the toilet, please feel free to give me a call and we can sort out those issues. The day we met, you gave me a piggyback ride. <laughs> Other than that piggyback ride, um, nothing happened. <laughs> As I clung onto your back, I could feel you shaking. Shake, 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 shake. We undoubtedly have a lot of work to do, like cleaning our house. <laughs> it's our house now. <laughs> Who will scrub the toilets? Good luck cleaning that house. Good thing I have you. And we are all fiercely dedicated to her. So, just saying. I watched them sleep through every movie. One thing's for sure though, my speech is going to last longer than Mark will later tonight. Emily and Mark, the best sleepers ever. <laughs> you are 10 out of 10. Throughout these pictures and also through the years, I've, over the last two years, I've also observed Mark's transformation since this relationship. Emily has made him better, but I think in the years to come, if they latch onto Christ, center their marriage on Christ, they're going to be unstoppable. When he asked her to go to the Lord of the Rings in concert for their first date, I knew he was something special. <laughs> Since that first date, I have come to find out that Mark is exactly the type of life partner that everyone hopes their best friend finds. Although you may go hungry from eating too many salads, your marriage and home will always be full of laughter, a deep love, and God's presence in your life. Emily, you're so cherished and I cannot wait to continue journeying and laughing through all of life's adventures and misadventures together. Since you guys met, we were waiting for Mark to ask her out, waiting for him to get the ring. Again, it was just us waiting and waiting. And we're finally so happy that we can come here on this day and celebrate this day and this marriage with you guys. I've never met anyone who loves with such abandon. Every single day you pour yourself out into those around you, family, friends, coworkers, the patients you care for, and me. And you do it with such a joyous heart without expecting anything in return. How blessed am I to get to marry you, a gem of a man. <laughs> um, you're hardworking, gentle, kind, faithful, and funny. <laughs> I'm so thankful God brought you into my life and for all the laughters and adventures we've shared. You really bring so much joy to me and my family. I vow to always lift you up in prayer and thanksgiving. To sacrifice for you and daily push you towards him. That in the end we might hear the words, well done good and faithful servants. Here as we stand before our God and our loved ones, I vow joyfully and confidently to be your sole partner as we seek God and His kingdom together. I vow to be a prayerful wife who loves and offers grace the way that Christ does for us. I vow to encourage you and stand beside you through the, both the sunny and the stormy days of this life. I vow to support and treasure the person that God has made you to be and who you are becoming. I vow to love you in the ways that speak to your heart, like getting crafty, being silly, outdoor adventures, and just loving on our family and friends. I vow to be loyal, faithful, and true in my love for you, and to always show you that your heart is worth fighting for. So these things I promise you, I love you, I cannot wait to share in life's grand adventure with you. I'm really excited for this journey hand in hand with you. May we trust our God who is faithful, giving thanks for the precious time that he gives us and the places that he calls us. And thank you for being my best friend. I will love, honor, and cherish you as my husband today and every day. I love you.
What God has joined together, let no one separate. You may kiss your bride. Abba Father, we come before you here today and we, we are so filled with thanks. I am so filled with thanks, Father. In hindsight, I see how you have worked through Mark and Emily. And Father, I see that what a godly couple they are together. Father. You have answered our prayers for Mark with Emily. And what a blessing and incredible encouragement she is. And I pray, Lord, as they continue to walk closer to you each and every single day, that their minds would be focused on your righteousness, that they would forever hide your word within their hearts and seek to glorify you first, Father, and all other things will fall into place afterwards, Father. I just pray blessing upon them and the future families that they may have, and I pray that you would use them to continue to be a light witnesses and ambassadors to all those around them as I know you have been doing so far Father. and most importantly father we thank you for you brought this about father and hallowed be thy name to you be all the glory I pray this in Jesus Christ's name amen I've had the blessing of knowing you as a brother and friend for the past 10 years in my life and I can honestly say that you are a blessed man. Although you may go hungry from eating too many salads, your marriage and home will always be full of laughter, a deep love and God's presence in your life. I am very, very happy that you made your way into her life because she deserves the best, because she is the best. So I just wanted to say the most wholehearted congratulations to the two equally wonderful, lovable people um, finding each other and building a wonderful, love-filled life together. I just wish that your marriage be full of laughter, excitement, and love as you grow to love um, this brother that we love. I will always miss the fun and often gross times that we shared together at that house. <laughs> um, I'm so excited for you guys to start this new chapter as husband and wife. I know that you two will be able to keep your fire strong no matter what challenges you face going forward, whether it's naming your future kids or cleaning up that messy house. Today, I'm really excited and honored to witness, you know, the union of Emily and Mark. And Emily, you have chosen a good man. I'm watching you on the sideline. <laughs> for, 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 for long enough time now, and you have proven yourself. And I'm so grateful for the chance to celebrate the love shared by Emily and Mark and their lifelong commitment to each other. May their lives be blessed. Their hearts are so pure. They deserve every happiness.